Irvington community members are working to find new ways to help keep young people safe on their way to school. People gather this evening to discuss safety concerns, and as Fox 59's Michael Van Skoik explains, they hope a new project will address some of these issues. Dozens of people gathered in Irvington Wednesday night to address an issue they say is urgent. All of our students who are walking and biking to school, all of our students who are commuting to school in Irvington and throughout the city are seeing similar issues with pedestrian safety and cyclist safety. Michelle Pleasant lives in Irvington. She says the need for safety changes is a big problem, but community members have to start somewhere. That's why she and neighbors like Cassandra Crutchfield are forming a new coalition called Safe Routes to School Irvington. When we moved to in Irvington, we wanted to walk everywhere. We were excited to walk to school and church and the library um, and the park. Crutchfield knows all too well about some of the dangers on local roadways. Her seven-year-old daughter Hannah was struck and killed by a car while the pair were walking through a crosswalk on her way home from school in 2021. What happened to Hannah was devastating for our family, obviously. Last February, this playground was dedicated in Hannah's memory, and her mother Cassandra says this new project is just another way to help keep Hannah's memory alive. I have another daughter and I want her to be safe um, traveling around the neighborhood and we have lots of friends and know lots of kids in this neighborhood and um, I don't want any other family to have to go through what we went through. While Wednesday night simply marked the start, organizers say they'll be working on solutions for a long time to come. What the group will do is collect data, collect survey data, do walk audits to figure out where we need to focus, where the most need is in the neighborhood. Crutchfield and Pleasant say the group will also collaborate closely with schools and city leaders to help make possible solutions a reality. In Irvington, Michael Van Skoik, Fox 59 News. The project's organizers say they will be working with local organizations and businesses to host events in the future, including educational walk and bike to school days. The